One Nassau County company is using cutting edge technology to help people recover from devastating injuries. As News 12 Long Island's Dave Grunebaum reports, it's giving amputees new hope of living a normal life. When John Devine lines up in the lanes, he throws strikes. Devine, a Marine Corps veteran, lost his right leg in Vietnam in 1968. Today, he's an avid skier, golfer, and bowler. The quality of life with the prosthetic limb is definitely getting better. They're lighter, uh, more comfortable. His prosthetic is similar to the ones made in this Mineola lab by East Coast Orthotic and Prosthetic Corporation. Using computer graphics, technicians generate an image of what the new prosthetic will look like. In this case, the lower leg. We're able to scan someone's residual limb. Let's say if someone was amputated below the knee, we're able to scan above it, get that shape, put it into the computer, and modify it. That scan is used to create a foam molding. If you could visualize if someone was amputated below their knee, this would fit like this. The mold is used to shape the actual artificial limb. Plastic is heated to 380 degrees and placed around the mold. In this room, technicians combine the prosthetic with layers of carbon, nylon, and graphite. That makes the prosthetic strong, light, and versatile. This artificial limb costs about $8,000 and weighs about four pounds almost 20 pounds less than they weighed two decades ago. Because of weight, that, that's a tremendous difference, okay? In terms of comfort, that's a big difference. And the hope is that the patients get back into the swing of a normal life. In Mineola, Dave Grunbaum, News 12 Long Island. Wow, amazing. The Mineola company makes about 15 prosthetic limbs a week.